So you want to sell your comic books. I'm Danny Danger, and I'm going to help you do that. The most important first step is to know what you're selling. How old are your comics? If they're from the 40s on into the early 70s, they're probably worth more than comics from the 80s or the 90s. Consider what's in your issue. Is it a number one? Is it an introduction to a new character? Is it the beginning of a new story arc? Look it up. Secondly, consider the quality of your comics. Now, a mint condition Batman Harley Quinn one-shot may be $90 online, but chances are your copy looks like mine. It's got a bent spine, it's obviously been read, so it's really only worth about $25. Also ask yourself if your comic is in demand. Do people still wanna buy it? Are there a lot of copies in circulation? The general rule is that the more copies that are out there floating around in the nerd ether, the less valuable it's gonna be. Whether you have a large collection you wanna sell in bulk, you don't wanna deal with the hassle of the internet, or you're just ready to get this stuff out of your house, a comic book shop is a great way to go. They'll take care of you in a jiffy. Some comic book stores will offer you in-store credit for your trade, meaning that it's a great way to go out with the old and in with the new. Make sure you understand that you're not gonna get the full value for your comic books selling them to a comic book shop. They're not gonna give you the same price that you could get on eBay. And if you tell your buyer what you saw on eBay, they're gonna say to you, why don't you sell it on eBay if you're so clever? What you see on the internet is not always accurate. No. Yeah. Comic book shops have to make a profit. You can get your feelings hurt about it, but these are small independent businesses and this profit matters. If you're really uncomfortable with that, you need to invest the time and energy into selling your comics online. Be sure to call ahead. Nothing sucks more than driving all the way to the comic book shop, unloading your boxes, and then realizing that it's the buyer's day off. Scratch that. Nothing sucks more than being the person behind the counter getting yelled at because you drove all the way to the comic book shop on the buyer's day off. Calling ahead is not only considerate, but can come in handy. While your buyer can't price anything over the phone, they may be able to tell you if there are titles in your collection that aren't worth lugging up to the shop. Don't tell your buyer what condition your comics are in. He or she can tell for themselves. And in my experience, your comics are probably not in as good a shape as you think they are. Try to refrain from telling your buyer that the comics are still in their original bags. Most comics don't come in bags initially, so your buyer's gonna give you the bullshit eyebrow. Take pride in what you're selling. If you bring your comics into the shop in a nasty Walmart bag or a water-stained box and they're haphazardly thrown in the box with no bags and boards, nobody's gonna offer you top dollar for something that you didn't take good care of. Consider putting your comics in alphanumeric order. It also makes it really easy for your buyer to just flip through them and know what you have. Remember, if you're not comfortable with your offer, take your comics and leave. If it's something your buyer is lusting after, they'll chase after you and make you a better offer. If you don't think that your comics are worth the cash that you'll get to bring them in, consider donating them to a local library, giving them to a friend or a kiddo who would really enjoy them. This is a great way to create new comic book fans. I've done it myself several times. Did I give you good advice? Was this helpful? Are you ready to go sell your comics? Tell me down below in the comments and be sure to subscribe so you can see more of my tips and tricks for comic book newbies. A very special thanks goes out to Austin Books and Comics. If you're in the Austin area and you've got some comics to sell, this is the place to do it. We'll take good care of you.